Welcome to this lesson on sketching a cubic function and to sketch this one a lot of the work's already been done because it's in factor form and really all you need to do is find the x-intercepts and the y-intercept to be able to sketch this one so to find the x-intercepts as always let y equal 0 no matter what the equation is uh, this is always the way of finding the x-intercepts so if you let 0 equal all of that, x minus 1, x minus 2, bracket x plus 3, you then need to use the null factor law, and all the null factor law, or zero factor law, is if you have a times b, or two things multiplied together that equal 0, then either of them have to be 0. So either a is 0, or b is 0, or in fact they're both 0. And it doesn't matter how many things you have multiplied together, if the product of those things is zero, then we can just pick out each of those things one at a time like this, and go x minus 1 equals zero, or x minus 2 is zero, or x plus 3 is zero. So we can pick out each of those things one at a, one at a time and let them all equal zero, and that's the step where you're actually using the null factor law. And from here, it's just a matter of solving each of those little equations, and you'll end up with x equals 1, 2, or minus 3, or those are the three x-intercepts. To find the y-intercept, you always let x equal 0, and y would then equal bracket minus 1, minus 2, multiplied by 3, and that all equals 6, and then the sketching part starts. So marking in the intercepts, so we have 1 at minus 3, 1 at 1, and 1 at 2, and our y-intercept is 6 up here. Now there's only one way the graph can go through those four points, and it has to start down here, um, up through that one, down that one, and then back up the other one, I missed it completely. So that's basically what your cubic looks like. And I think I can actually do a better one than that. It really needs to be, really needs to look something like that, that kind of shape when you do it. So I'm just going to redo it and explain how I would normally do it. So knowing that the graph is going to do that, I'm just going to do this. And that's normally how I would draw it. And then I will mark in my points. It's a much better looking curve. So that's minus 3, y-intercept up here is 6, this x-value there, is in, sorry, x-intercept is 1, and the other x-intercept here is 2. So that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.